I thought I won the fight. That's it. Any other questions? They were fighting for vacant. Correct. So, like, would it be next in line for like a second shot? And that that's up to the IBF. I mean, the IBF will will mandate what happens next. You know, they'll they'll say whether or not they you know they fight immediately. If there's going to be a box off, they'll they'll dictate if there's a if there's a rematch. <coughs> Any other questions? Is there another question? Yes. Pune que aquí es la oportunidad de nuevo, Kumanta Ready, Floyd, Pacquiao, cualquier peleador, Kumanta Ready, pasa que esta noche no pude, pero estamos aquí y Kumanta sigue en defil. The question was, would he like a rematch with Funeca? And he said he would take it. He's open to any fights, whether it's with Funeca or with Pacquiao, Mayweather, or anyone at 135, 140. He's never turned down a fight that has ever been offered to him and won't do that. Uh, just I want to introduce Gary Shaw, uh, who is Ali's promoter. He just wanted to, wanted to say a few words. Bonjour, everyone. Hello. I'm sorry I missed the beginning of the press conference. I don't know what was said. I have a lot of respect for Joel Guzman. I know him a long time. He didn't win this fight tonight. You shouldn't talk about fighting Pacquiao with Mayweather because he didn't beat Ali Fanuga today. He was robbed. Ali was robbed. If I didn't know better, if I wasn't around boxing this long, I would think the fix was in. There's no one, there's no one in Canada and there's no one in the United States that didn't think Ali Fenega won convincingly. I don't know, the IBF tells me the Canadian Commission appointed the judges. The Canadian Commission told me the IBF appointed the judges. I've been around boxing a long time I'm a good loser. If my fighter loses, I accept it. But I want my fighter to lose the fight. I don't want my fighter to get robbed. There's no way. I gave, I gave Guzman four rounds. I gave him two of the first six, three of the first six, and I gave him the seventh round, personally. And I don't know what to say. It's unfair for someone to come here from South Africa or anywhere in the world not get a fair decision. And it makes me think twice. Dawson is the mandatory for the winner of Piscala and Diakonau. And it makes me think twice about bringing Dawson to Canada. And that's not good because Quebec is a great city. Montreal is a great city. This arena was great. The Bell Center is terrific. They're all good people. Your fans are terrific but it has to be a fair decision. And tonight, it wasn't a fair decision. And this young man who fought his heart out, that should be going back to South Africa with the IBF belt, is not. And that's wrong. And as I said, I have a lot of respect for Guzman. I know him personally a long, long time. And I know his team. But they did not win tonight. I thank you very much. Any questions? I have a question for you, Mr. Shah. So, sure. So, who is responsible, according to you, for the, the, this rub that you played? Oh, but I, I don't know because when I asked when I asked the IBF, they told me the Canadian Commission appointed the judges. When I asked the Canadian Commission, they told me the IBF appointed judges. So, I, I don't know. I know one thing. I've been around boxing since 1971. I've seen I don't know how many fights in my life. And if we would have lost, I would have gotten up here, I would have congratulated Guzman, said, great fight, you won the fight. Hope we get a rematch, hope we get a chance again. But what they saw tonight was not a draw. It's impossible, your own fans, your own fans booed and didn't say a word. They were in shock. You're talking that you're scared to bring a fight to Quebec, but none of the judges are any ties with any of the boxers. Well, Interbox was the co-promoter with Golden Boy. 
we just came. We lost in a purse pit. I'm not saying Interbox did anything illegal. I know the people from Interbox very well for a very, very long time. And I, I know the people from Golden Boy. I was out with them last night. I'm telling you, he didn't get a right decision from the two judges, whether, whoever they were appointed from. And I assume they were Canadians. For fights like this, there should be three neutral judges from three places that neither fighter is from. Look, the, the United States no, judge, and Guzman lives in the United States, the United States judge gave it to Finiga. But they were, I mean, neutral judges. They were Montrealers or Canadians? I'm sorry? Like the judges were Canadian judges, so they were neutral. No, they're not neutral. If Interbox is the promoter, they're not neutral. If I'm the promoter and you put three United States judges, it's not neutral. Any other questions? Question for uh, Joanne Guzman. You made it uh, pretty easy the, fir the first few rounds. Is it something that more Funica did or later rounds that you uh, basically could not adapt to his style? Daniel question, last question. Desde que me dio, me dio un buen puño en la nariz, me dio un buen puño en la nariz, pero luego me dio una, una cabezazo. Ya, yo no podía ver, yo estaba peleando con el corazón, con el corazón y como decimos, como dicen los mexicanos y como decimos algunos dominicanos, con, discú, di, discúlpeme la palabra, con, con los huevos, con los huevos. Entonces, no, yo no podía ver, yo estaba peleando con un solo ojo, con un solo ojo. Entonces, un peleador grande y yo peleé con un solo ojo eh, se me hizo difícil pero no como, como dice respetando la palabra de Gary y respetando la palabra de de, de Funeca que él ganó su pelea porque si yo no, no había tenido no había tenido la herida no había tenido la herida otra historia hubiera sido porque él no, había, él no me había podido pegar porque si ustedes vieron los primeros rounds él no, él no yo, yo era un hombre invisible para él pero al no, al no poder ver, ya él me estaba llegando con el, con el ya, que tenía un buen ya. Miss. He said, as you can see in the beginning of the fight, he was doing all he could and that's why he was winning. Once he got punched in the nose and started bleeding and the headbutt, that caused him to not be able to see. So it wasn't so much that he thinks Funeka won the fight and he totally respects his opinion and Gary Shaw saying that he won. It's just his inability to not perform to his fullest, you know, allowed him to slow down a bit. But at the end of the fight, he was just fighting with his heart. He was putting his heart and leaving everything out there. That's how he was able to get through. Merci beaucoup. Because también, también, eh, en algún momento, <coughs> mi, mi, mi manager, él vio cómo estaba la, 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 la situación, mi manager y, y mi promotor ahora de Golden Boy fueron y le dijeron al manager, mira, pregúntale que le va a dar un solo round. Yo le dije, no, 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 espérate, espérate, no. Yo, yo, yo no veo, pero yo fuego, fuego. Ahí fue que yo peleé, peleé con, con el corazón de Guerrero. His manager and his current promoters, um, Golden Boy, were telling him that they were going to give him one more round or they were going to, you know, stop the fight. And he said no, that he was going to finish it off. And he went in there as a true warrior and ended the fight after 12 rounds. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Thank you.